everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we're going to be doing our May monthly budget. So we're going to hop right on in. Now that I've organized my budget planner, I can skip right to the monthly. <laughs> I don't have to like fumble around with it. So here is our monthly budget breakdown. Also, um, if you like, you can go to my site, which will be listed below. I'm going to also try and include these um, budget breakdowns just right to the link so that you can get right to it so that you can get yours on my website and you can follow along. Um, let's go over last month real quickly. Let's do a little review. So everything got paid except for Capital One. Capital One was caught up, so I chose not to pay that. Um, we ended up making, we guesstimated $3,000 for the month. I figured I would come in about $3,500. Did not know that I would come in at $4,345. So April was an excellent month budget-wise. Nails, we guesstimated $60 and, or projected, and we made end up making $80. And that was just off two clients. I want to increase my nail clientele, but by me doing it at home, COVID, I did have more nail clients, but I cut a few back because I just wasn't trusting people um, bringing COVID into my home. So I would like to have a space to do nails and I could probably take on more nail clients, run specials, things like that. But I'm just not comfortable right now with that. So I'm cool with the little people that I have. Um, nonetheless, Norse Cove, we guesstimated 200. We came in at 156, and this is um, not gross. This is net sales. That's like after discounts, shipping, things like that. Miscellaneous, um, we did 50 because I got a birthday blessing. So the total ended up being $4,634. Yay. Um, I was supposed that money and savings it didn't happen. I actually took some out. <laughs> And then this is just a note of how much it was. I took it from my everyday carry. And everything got paid. Um, we guesstimated Shopify at $59.31. It ended up being $61.33, I believe. Um, instead of Citibank getting 100 they got 31 Barclays got 150 opposed to 200 Still not bad. And PayPal, they got 35 So, also, I forgot to add my booth right down here. And so my total, instead of being 1,100 and, uh, excuse me, 1,439, ended up being $2,257. But now this month also, here's a note. I have a couple of new things, new budget items, which is Plant Fitness and up, Uplift and then Southwest. I need to add Southwest, but I'm not sure. I have to actually do my... Uh, research on the day that Southwest is due, but what I'm going to do is put it in my budget anyway to pay $50. I don't know the date. I just won't be adding the date. Okay. Now let's skip to our calendar and here it is for May. I've made, I didn't add a whole bunch of stickers, but I wanted to highlight that these are the things that are auto drafted. So that way I have a bird's eye view of what's going to come out automatically. So as you can see, I don't, I normally think I don't have a lot coming out, but I do. <laughs> this auto drafted, um, but mostly some things that I just pay on my own. And we've set our goals for the month and all of that. So I'm going to put this aside and we're going to, let's see, prop it up. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm going to zoom in. And let's get started. So I'm going to take this highlighter. No, I got it. I got these on sale from Amazon. I'm just going to use one of these um, Crayolas. And this is the Colors of the World. And we are in May already. Wow. I'm going to highlight our total here, our total here, total here, and as I stated in my paycheck to paycheck budget, um, I leave these kind of plain because I am semi-minimal planner and I, I would get distracted by a bunch of color and a bunch of stickers sometimes 
But if you want to make this colorful for you, use um, markers or pens or whatever, stickers, whatever, you know, to make it work for you. Make budgeting fun. So let's put down our first source of income, which is hair, nails. Actually, I need to move nails under Norris Cove. Norris Cove, and then we have miscellaneous. And also on this budget sheet, I have it where you can have four sources of income. I know a lot of times people have more than those four, but um, if you're a beginner budget, four I think is great. So now we're gonna, last month we projected like a 3,000. We're just gonna move that up to uh, $3,500. Um, nails, we'll put in 60 again. Norris Cove, I really, I don't, I want to write five, but I'm going to put 200 again. I'm going to stay on the low end. Miscellaneous, I don't think I have. I have some things that I kind of want to sell. I want to do some oops bags and things like that, but I'm going to leave miscellaneous like that. So we're coming at $3,760. That's what's projected. Now, let's get into the bill. So, because I have my calendar out, normally I list out important to me, but I'm just going to go with the date. So, on May 1st, we have um, cloth and paper, Amazon, and these have already come out because I'm late on my budget, but cloth and paper has already come out. That's $38. Amazon, I believe it's $15.77. On the second, we have community. I've already paid them. And I gave them 50. Was it 40? We'll just put 50. On the third, we have Shopify. And I think it's $54, but I'm gonna put 55. And then on the fourth, we have Walmart. I need to go ahead and pay that. And Walmart has a balance of $51.36. I'm going to pay them off. And then again on the fourth, we have Credit One. This is the one that I think that I paid 40, but I'm going to put 50. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was paid 40 there, but I'll have it um, at the end of the month. Okay. On the fifth, we have Uplift Due. And I'm putting 40, but it's a little under 40. And then the seventh, we have Canva. And Canva is $13.77. Then on the 11th, we have card note number one. And that is $181.60. And then on the 15th, we have Capital One. So we know we'll be giving Capital One some money this month. Normally my minimum is $25. I want to give them $50. And then on the 17th, we have Citibank. I want to give Citibank $50. My goal is more, but I'm going to stick with $50. Barclays. They are doing the 18th. Um, my goal is to get them, I think I need to give them about, a, I'm going to give them 150 because I'm trying to get them down and get out of the, I'm um, over because of the interest that it kicked in. So I'm going to put 150. That's what I gave them last month. And card note number two on the 20th. Again, that's 181.60. And let's see, we have T-Mobile on the 21st. So with T-Mobile, I found what works for me is giving them a couple of dollars every week. And then when the bill is due, not having so much because I struggled with T-Mobile for so long. If you look at any of my other budget videos, T-Mobile was always late. <laughs> and I had so much to pay. There was months when I owed $800, $500. So we're not doing that in 2022. And so I know my bill is like 209. I'm just gonna put it at like 210 and I'll put the definite amount later because there's some change. And then the 25th, we have PayPal, which I wish I'd never gotten that one. But anyway, we're gonna give them 50. 
The 28th is car insurance. That is 206. My life insurance is included in that as well. 29th is GoDaddy. And I just realized GoDaddy is $7.41. I just realized that I forgot something, which is Insta Ink. So I need to go back to April or let's see. Let me pull out Oh Faithful here. If I haven't taken it out, I might have taken April out. Nope, it's here. Let's see. Insta Ink. It comes out on the 15th. So we'll just still put that here. Insta Ink. Now I'm about to run out of space because I've added some things. How this happened, I don't know. Insta Ink is $19.99. I want to make sure that I get booth rent in here as well. Um, uplift is due on the 5th. And we're giving them 40. Okay, booth is a thousand. So this is what you'll do if you'll run out of room. Just add. You can actually wipe these out and continue your budget over there if you like. But I'm here at the end. So let me take this. Now, now let's do a little calculating. So our total is $2,460.50. Oh, Let's write that here. I'm going to close this and move this out the way. Now let's we'll subtract that from our $3,760 here. That leaves us with uh, one thousand two thousand. Excuse me, twelve hundred ninety nine dollars and fifty uh, fifty cents. I'm gonna move that up here since I ran out of room down here. All right. So now definitely for savings, we want to do, I'm going to put a hundred for the month. So we subtract a hundred from the $12.99. We know it'll be Okay, sinking funds, uh, groceries. I'm trying to keep up with that. So groceries, um, I'm gonna do 300 and I'm pushing it. So then we're subtracted 300. It's 859. Um, and it was something else I needed to write now. I'm gonna skip down to, oh Lord, actually groceries should be in sinking funds. I'm not wiping that out. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Um, emergency fund, we want to do 100. I definitely want to get back into my envelope stuffing. I'm going to put week ahead and Christmas. 
we could head, I want to eventually get a hundred. We could do $25 a week and Christmas to get a hundred. This is just a goal, not necessarily that it's going to happen. So let me go back to the $11.99. So we have four, five, six, six hundred here as a total. And we're going to subtract that from the $11.99. And that leaves $5.99. I know miscellaneous is going to get about 300 of this uh, $5.99. But again, I'm not a zero-based budgeter, so I'm not going to stress about it. Um, I'll just keep track of what I'm spending. I'm back to my spending tracker. But this is what we have. So... We're projecting 3760 for our income from at least three sources. Our bills come up to $2,460.50. Also, I didn't include Southwest, so I'm sure Southwest will come out of this what's left. I would like, this is a guesstimate, to have $100 in my savings. That would bring my total down to $1,199. And then groceries, I would add 300 because I'm not quite spending $100 a week. Again, my husband does help with this, but we're just not as much as he was before. And then um, emergency fund, I like to have 100 in that. And a week ahead, I like to have 100 in that. And then Christmas, I would like to have 100 Um, There are some other categories that probably with this amount, I will be adding to very small amounts. And that's it. So that is our monthly budget. Let's kind of move everything out the way and then I need to go back into the calendar and add some things so let me get to monthly so that's why I like um this sheet is because this budget insert is real simple to fill out I don't want to make it hard at least not for myself and definitely not for anyone else it is paycheck friendly it is self-employed friendly it is entrepreneur friendly and again like I said if you need color or a way to make it fun use stickers um let me show you some of my favorite stickers that I like to use and I use these like here like if I had a total wrong these are my total stickers I could put it right over top. So I'm gonna put one here just to show you. And then I can change that total or I can go over top. Here, like I think I'll just put one here because so when we get our new total at the end of the month, we can just write it here on that sticker. These are my favorite. Like I said, let me show you how I use them in the salon section. This is how I come up with my totals. This is how I keep myself accountable. This is how I track my money every week is with these total stickers here. So these are, again, like I said, my favorite to use. And also I updated them. Again, you can find these in the shop. So this is how they used to come. They was on a smaller sheet. They're now, because I want everything to kind of match. So now they're on a a little larger sheet and you do I don't know if you get the same amount or more but yeah so now they're on a larger sheet so but these are my go-to's and they come in different colors as well and I think um, one of the things I'll be doing is adding new colors and I'm considering a budget box you guys so that way each month you'll get um, budget friendly items in a box and yeah so let's go over to the monthly so I am working on that now, the budget box to offer you guys. So I need to put down, I need to make a note over here that Southwest and Uplift, because I didn't want to use that Southwest card, but I did Southwest credit card. So I need to look um, into the date that it's due. And I want to like pay it off because it's only um, $115, but I don't want to let interest accrue on it because that's when you get in trouble, okay? So to highlight that and bring my attention to it, I'm just going to highlight it, but I want to use some gray. Hold on, hold on a second. Gray. I have a gray. It's just to bring my attention to it. 
this is all that I have for the month of May, you all. I hope that this is helpful, helpful for someone. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you commenting. I appreciate you purchasing um, from my website. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.